Hello everyone, we are here at the Jewel Palm Beach Resort. It has been a lovely stay here. Here's the view from outside of our window. Absolutely lovely. And it's our last day, so we're packing up and leaving. It's been a great time. Let me show you guys what the trip has been all about. To get to the resort, we took the Expresso Bavaro from Santo Domingo to Punta Cana. And we got off at the secondary bus station in Punta Cana. And from there, we waited for the Wawa that runs the Cabeza de Toro route. That's the name of the street this resort is on. So it actually dropped us off right in front of the gate. It's kind of weird walking up to the gate. I'm sure they don't see that often, but we were right there. So after the guard found my name, he let us in. Now let me just show you a bit around the resort. It's very beautiful. I was just in awe the whole time there. Everything was just so lovely. A true paradise. I thought this was really interesting and neat that they had a sign here talking a little bit more about the history of the Dominican Republic, its political organization, and had a little map and a little picture of a historical representation. I just had to film this dog. It was so cute. I saw it digging my first time on the beach and I was wondering why it was digging. Then it turned around and it just sat down in the little hole it made and it was just chilling out. And here also, just with get in the water, enjoy a nice little chilled out time in the water. I think the dog was on vacation too. It was just so adorable. Now let me give you a quick tour of our room. We had a room on the first floor, which is really great. It was easy to slip in and out of, except for the door, actually. The door did not work very well. The lock or the latch would not move with the outer door handle. And yes, I did go talk to the front desk about it. They sent a security guy and he basically just said, you just have to use a lot of force. I was like, okay. So we definitely felt like we were going to have bruises on our elbows and knees and sides trying to bust into this door half the time. But we were able to get in mostly. And once inside, the bathroom is right here on the left. It has a nice tub and a shower and it has a window opening to the rest of the room, which I have never seen before. It also had two sinks, which was really nice, a bunch of towels, a mirror, and a toilet. Mm -hmm. 
Next, there was a little closet with some bathrobes and slippers for us to use, as well as an ironing board. And in the main bedroom, we got a deluxe Vista Tropical Double Room. So it had a king-size bed, TV, and a little recliner, as well as a table with two chairs and another mirror. There was also a mini fridge. This was the mini bar that was supposed to be restocked every day, but we didn't want room service, so we just had our Do Not Disturb sign out the whole time. So those are the drinks they provided for us, and there's a coffee maker up above too. Outside, we had a view of the ocean, which was really great. We were gonna try to trek through these bushes to get there, but the path was literally right outside our door, so that never happened. But it was a beautiful view of the ocean, with a nice little table and two chairs as well. The only thing about this porch was that when I sat out there, I was getting bitten by mosquitoes, but not on the beach, thankfully. That night we went to dinner at the Coral Market Buffet, which was really good. Obviously there's a ton of food all included and yeah, it was awesome. So let me show you around there. There was always some sort of entertainment activity going on that usually started around 9 p.m. This night it was a big dance party. There was a DJ playing music and these entertainers on stilts dancing as well. So that was fun. The next morning I woke up kind of early. I wasn't sleeping well. The phone had rang in the hotel room at 11 p.m. That kind of freaked me out. And then in the middle of the night, well at 4.30 I woke up and there was a puddle of water in our hallway outside our bathroom. So that was strange. Anyways, I couldn't really sleep. So I just got up and I found this little crab outside our room. So that was cute. Then I went to see some of the sunrise on the beach. I also claimed us two beach chairs underneath one of the umbrellas, which was a smart move because I realized people came out there early to claim their beach chairs with the umbrellas because you really do need the umbrellas in that sun. So that was good, we had our beach umbrellas for the day. Now here's a look at the breakfast buffet. There was plenty of natural juices and fruit, which I really loved. My sister and I especially enjoyed a lot of mango while we were here. The food did change from day to day, but there were some consistent options like fruit, bread, eggs, the basics, as well as a little Dominican food station. So there was a good variety and I didn't get bored while I was there at least. I was only there for three nights, but we enjoyed the buffet every time we went.
That whole day we pretty much just stayed on the beach, reading, and then for lunch we didn't even go back to the buffet, we just did the beach eatery which had some fried chicken, burgers, and fries, just simple things. When we came back from the beach in mid-afternoon, I noticed they were setting up these bikes in the water and I immediately wanted to do it, whatever it was. So we got into this water aerobics cycling spin class. It was kind of a mix of everything. It was a great workout, honestly, for being on vacation. There was an instructor and it went with the music. It was a lot of fun. After that, we noticed that there was a pop-up Dominican food station, so that was really fun. I got my sister to try habituales con dulce, there were other Dominican desserts as well as sancocho, and they were playing some great Dominican music. They also have a swim up bar which we took advantage of and got some pina coladas from and then we just swam around the pool, enjoyed the lazy river. The pool water was very warm, honestly I didn't like it that much because I enjoyed the refreshing ocean water which was still really warm especially compared to what you'll find at any beach in the states but we enjoyed the pool nonetheless. While we're here swimming in the pool, I thought I'd just give a quick review of the resort. 100% I would recommend it, I will say Although it says, according to Instagram, that it opened in March, it's not a new resort. I believe it was owned by a previous resort company before it was taken over by Jewel. And so not everything is quite new. For example, the rooms were a little bit old and creaky and we did have a couple issues with the room, like I mentioned, the water on the floor and the door handle not opening. But overall, I would recommend the resort. Everything was very clean and beautiful and I had a good experience. There were a lot of activities and entertainment. And I really enjoyed my stay there. The food was great and it also wasn't extremely expensive either. We paid about $4.20 for our room for three nights. That night, we decided to get dressed up and try one of the restaurants that were also included in the resort. Another thing they had going on every night was a live performance, a live singer or a mini band, and I really liked this one that night. She was singing some good songs that I knew and I was jamming out, to say the least. <laughs> The restaurant we decided to try was Moonstone by Sofia, which was the Italian cuisine. There were other restaurants as well with Asian, Mexican, and French cuisines. After our late dinner, we went out to find that there were actually two activities going on. One was this silent disco where you could get a pair of headphones, tune into the channel that you'd like, and dance around. The other one was a dance performance. So there were some Dominican dance styles like merengue, bachata, and just some other dancing as well. It was all really good. They were very talented and I was absolutely mesmerized the whole time watching them. The next day was our active day. We went for a walk north up the beach. 
and then we went kayaking which was one of the free included activities in the resort there were other activities that were not included such as going on like a motorboat ride the guy explained to me that anything that needed gasoline would not be included so when we were working for ourselves on the kayak that was included but we had fun we went out in the ocean a little bit and then something happened i lost part of my glasses which had been falling out this whole time and i'll show you that in just a second We had heard at the previous night's performance that there would be a Michael Jackson special this night and it wasn't in the normal place but we remember them saying it was at the theater. So we found the theater, it was out through the lobby and we found Michael Jackson and he was dancing, people were dancing with him. It was a great show. I wish I could include the music but just enjoy the dancing. The next morning we woke up for the sunrise and we stayed on the beach a little bit, did a little more reading, but then we were headed home. Stay tuned for the sunrise time lapse. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed my review of the resort. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.